Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video we're going to bring you guys a quick little Adobe Lightroom tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about customizing the identity plate within Adobe Lightroom. So if you don't know what the identity plate, that's essentially this little area up here at the top. As you can see in the corner right here, we have the Lightroom logo, and all it says is Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 5. Now, you can actually customize this to say anything you want. You can customize it to just have plain old text, or you can even insert your logo into it. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be creating our own custom logo within Adobe Photoshop and we're going to be setting it as the identity plate within Adobe Lightroom. So just to give you an example of what we're going to be doing, take a quick look up here at the top corner to the current identity plate. This is what comes standard with Adobe Lightroom and now watch what happens when I turn on my custom plate. Bam! So there we go. It has my logo up here. It has my name. I still kept the default Lightroom logo and it has a bunch of other stuff over here. And we're going to be showing you guys how to make an image like this within Adobe Photoshop. But before we can do that, we need to go over the basic settings for the identity plate. So this is the window that allows you to customize that. This is the identity plate editor within Adobe Lightroom. And in order to get to that, all you need to do is go up to the Lightroom logo and go to where it says identity plate setup. And if you're on a Windows computer, that will be under the edit menu. But we're going to go into the setup right over here. And as you can see, there's a little check mark that says enable identity plate. So if we uncheck mark that, it just goes back to the basic one that came with Lightroom. And if we check mark that, what it will do is it'll come up with all these dialog boxes down here that will allow you to change all of the settings. So by default, the use stylized text option will be check marked right over here and when you first launch it up it'll have your name in it and basically what that lets you do is it allows you to type stuff and it appears as the identity plate but as you can see that's just kind of text I mean it's boring I mean sure you can customize it with changing the font the different style of font the size and the color but really it's just kind of boring to type in your own text I mean having your own logo and inserting your own custom image is a lot cooler than just typing in the text right here so in order to do that you check mark the use graphical identity plate and that allows you to insert your own custom picture which is what we're going to do today so first I'm going to open up Adobe Photoshop and you can use any image editor you want for this but we're just going to be using Photoshop and I'm going to create a new document and We'll just change it to the default Photoshop size and we're going to make it a size of 800 by 57 pixels. Now this is important. Make sure the height is set to 57 pixels and you can change the width to whatever you feel is necessary but I think 800 is more than enough. So with the dimension set at 800 by 57 pixels we're going to change the background to transparent and we're going to click OK and it showed up on my other monitor. But here it is, a blank document that's only 800 by 57. It's pretty small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the background with black just to save some time. And over here on my other monitor, I have the basic elements of that logo over there. So I'm going to drop in the Lightroom logo over here. I'm going to just place it in the corner. Give me that back. I'm going to place my logo over here. We're just going to I'm going to put that around there and I'm going to kind of align it to the center. And last but not least, I'm just going to grab that uh, little thing of text that I've been using. And I'm going to put it right here and there we go. Now you can make this a bit bigger. I don't know what the max is, but I'm fairly certain 800 is the max that you can get. And you can basically do whatever you want to this. But this is just plain and simple. This is what I want. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the background layer to make this all transparent. And then I'm going to save this as a PNG file and untitled one PNG is perfectly fine for me. So I'm going to save that and now we're going to go back to Lightroom and we're going to bring up that identity plate setup once again. We're going to make sure the use a graphical identity plate is checkmarked and we're going to click locate file and on the desktop there it is. We're going to click choose and as you can see, there it is. That's the logo that we just created within Photoshop two minutes ago. And it's set as our identity plate. So now if you want to save this, all you need to do is click Save As up here. And you can save it as a preset. And as you can see, I already have a preset made called ID1. And that is the one that I made before. And once you're happy with that, you can also play around with the font settings of the icons over here. But once you're happy with that, just click OK. And there you go. You have an identity plate. Now, I was having a bit of trouble with my Lightroom where I would save the preset, but whenever I loaded it up, it would 
unenable the identity plate, and I have no idea why that's happening, but uh, I guess that's just a problem that I'm having. But anyway, that's basically how you do it. That's how you create your own custom identity plate for Adobe Lightroom within Adobe Photoshop. And I have no idea how many times I said the word identity plate within this video, but you guys get the point. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions for anything you'd like to see in the future, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.